Hi, this is Rich Coles. At Productive, we love showing what is the art of the possible within Smartsheet and doing as much as we can to help organisations operate as much within Smartsheet um, as they can so that they've got one common location where they go to for source of data. Now, for many organisations, they might be running their projects, might be running their HR items, uh, so many other items that they're managing within Smartsheet. The financials can be trickier. Why? Because whilst you've got fantastic capabilities within the smart sheets themselves, sometimes Excel is more sophisticated for a finance team, for example, managing its profit and loss, um, its, its monthly tracking of financials. So what we do is we've got methods that we help um, teams with in terms of being able to actually get that data into smart sheets so the management team have a single source of truth of where they go to. So. Again, at Productive, what we love doing is inspiring people with what is the art of the possible and supporting organizations around the world with this bit. So if you're interested in this solution or any other things that um, you see, please do get in touch. And again, please do like, subscribe to the channel just so that this means that this content gets to other people like you who are looking to optimize and get the most out of Smartsheet. Now, within the solution I'm gonna go through, this is leveraging Data Shuttle, which is an advanced application from Smartsheet. Uh, but you'll see why it's incredibly powerful and helps bridge the gap with the finance teams into Smartsheet. So let's dive in and have a look. So I've gone across to this dashboard. It is for Prodco, um, and it's showing the, um, the financials up to the month of April. And again, I can have charts and views here in terms of what um, items are going on and that tracking in terms of how we're tracking versus budget and year to date um, on that side. And again, we can have a little view in terms of the metrics down here of actually more detailed numbers here as well. So in terms of the dashboard, that's kind of what you can see. And this information, where is it coming from? Well, it's coming from the Excel sheet that the finance team are using in terms of to track this data. So this is kind of how information will typically be tracked um, on from a financials perspective. The challenge is therefore, how do you get this into Smartsheet in a way that you can use it more effectively? So we've done this by leveraging uh, Smartsheet and Data Shuttle, and we take this information and ultimately transpose it into a way that actually it can be used more effectively leveraging data shuttle. And we give it a unique identifiers um, on this side, and then this data can be uploaded directly into Smartsheet. And by bringing it into Smartsheet here, what we have is we've got the consolidated latest financials. That then drives a metrics sheet, which then updates the dashboard. Now, to make it even easier for people, how does this information get in? Rather than asking the finance team to copy and paste information, we leverage Data Shuttle. So we can have a sheet called Monthly Financial Submissions. And in this sheet, you'll see that the teams can either go into the sheet directly or even receive an update request to update the financials. So in this case, for example, that the team might have received the update request, the month is May, submitted by demo and um, okay and um, I'm going to put slightly early this month um, on this bit and upload files go to this one put in the, the latest one open and this I'll have received via email as well so for the financial team they don't even need to be going into Smartsheet to be doing this they can actually be doing this directly from an email or from an update request so if I send that update request that's come in and what's going to happen now is that's going to refresh in terms of the sheet so that has been completed on this side and what that's going to do is it's going to trigger a data shuttle so let me just jump across to data shuttle here what I've got is I've set this up in terms of when an item is attached to a smart sheet monthly submissions the most recent one it then updates and you'll see I've got tab number two so if I go back to the um, Excel sheet you'll see I've got two tabs at the bottom and I'm telling it to look at the second one which is the output sheet so coming back to here this is running in the background and in terms of the latest financials so if I refresh this data shuttle 
should have run in the background. And let's just go back to here, check it out in the background. So I'm going to just turn on what has changed um, since I last viewed this sheet. Let's scroll down and has may come in. OK, well, let me just change this one in terms of um, changes in the last hour. You'll see that the May information has just come in on that side. So let me just turn off the changes again. So what that means now is if we go back to the dashboard, you can see that the, date, the data is for April thus far. So if I now refresh this, see what happens. You can now see it's been updated to May and the data is now pulling through from May, 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 May. And the latest month is May down here as well. So again, this information is coming through and this is all through the power of Smartsheet and Data Shuttle on that side. So the, the key here is that you can have an incredibly powerful way of taking Excel into Smartsheet and making it as simple as possible for teams who are not operating within Smartsheet, so who are operating maybe in Excel um, for, for that purpose. So if you want to find out more about this solution, please do get in touch. Um, if you would like to download the Excel file um, that I've got, then I'll put a link into the video um, here as well. And then you can see a bit more about, about how this is set up. But ultimately, what I've created is a sheet where the Excel, the, the profit and loss, goes into a slave sheet, is the way I describe it, in a way that it can be digested by Smartsheet. So we think this is a fantastic solution, which really helps people see and visualize information and just takes any of the work out of it. And also by automating the solution where someone can either go in and drag and drop those items or simply get an email and update it on a monthly basis when you send them a reminder to add the financials. So I trust that's been useful for you and we'd love to hear from you if uh, you need any support with this or any other solutions. Again, our aim is always to just help organizations do as much as they can and to get the most out of Smartsheet. So thanks for watching and bye for now.